friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my wrap up for April's collection obsession and thanks to all of your lovely voting of course we went with photo plays wild honey and I really really enjoyed working with this I'll show you what I have left I have quite a bit left actually it's amazing and really all I added well of course i always have my divided tray with my bramble fox acrylic pieces my nicole jones 911 digi prints um flare my gorgeous spiegel mom scrap sequins so i always have that at the ready full of additional bits then of course i add alphas as i go along but the collection itself um is paper a 12 by 12 sticker sheet and some die cuts and I added then if you recall I added a couple of sheets of enamel dots that I really wanted to try and finish up and I'm almost done but first let's look at what I got done this month and I got a 6 by 8 uh, an 8 and a half by 11 and then one two three three 12 by 12s I think so I'm very very happy with that that's sort of like five projects and I have quite a bit left now that brings me to thinking I might want to continue the fun leftovers to layout series that my lovely friend Kristen from scrapping on the fly here on YouTube started I must send her a message and see I might want to just continue that as you know a rule and do two or three layouts throughout the month with some leftovers because um, I have some lovely leftovers from my build a page layouts as well and I have not done the wrap-up for that yet either my friends have I so let's get to these so a fun six by eight page that I did for the Christmas in April hop that will go into my December documented album I still have to do a little bit of journaling on that one which I hope to get to this afternoon then this eight and a half by eleven mixed media heavy layout that I did this was for stretch the sketch and oh I need to get a little bit more glue under there my friend so I might just pop in a little bit of liquid glue on there so um, I backed this in black and then did lots and lots of mixed media on my background it was a really really fun sketch of course everything that I'm showing you as always has a video and I have my full monthly playlist, which I have been doing now for about a year, which was also something that all of you lovelies voted for. So if you've missed anything, you can just pop into um, my playlist for the month and everything will be there. But I also have playlists for my series as well. So Christmas in stretch the sketch um i also have a playlist for that if you just wanted to catch up on that series then we have this lovely uh layout and this was a scrap this was for uh may i scrap lift you in april we do may i scrap lift you on the second sunday uh, saturday uh of every month now of course it is may uh, starting tomorrow uh, so uh, or Monday I'm not sure whether I'm going to put this up I'm recording this on Saturday I might put it up today because I already have two videos for tomorrow and I might have another one so but may I scrap with you is starting very very soon a full month of but this was scrap lifting the lovely Jess from my scrappy sisters from the scrappy sisters this was celebrating our lovely and dear friend Nicole from Cuz We Love to Scrap AZ here on YouTube. 
and because we love to scrap over on Instagram. And of course, Nicole is part of the Sketch Sunday crew, part of the Mad About Mini Paper Pads. And uh, I'm pretty sure she'll be playing along with some of the May I Scrap With You as well. And this was celebrating her 500 subbies on YouTube. And it was a one, two, three um, challenge that she set us. A selfie, two pattern paper. I hadn't read it that way. I sort of read it as first, selfie, second, pattern paper, and then three things you love about yourself. So I didn't realize I only needed to do two pattern papers, but I'm, I'm just, I love this actually some tearing and I love, love, love this layout, some flare here, some bramble fox bits, some of those enamel dots, um, some die cuts here from my bowl. I had die cut these flowers for another project. This is actually going back to when I was using the Elena collection and a little selfie here on my birthday last October when I turned 65 with my little fella here in the background. And then, oh, now you see, there you go. So I'm pre-recording this on Saturday. You're not going to see this until Sunday. So this will go up on Sunday, more than likely after the video has gone up, because therefore you will just have seen this a couple of hours ago. And we are celebrating on Sunday, the 30th, the lovely Jessica Michaels, the lovely and talented Jessica Michaels and her reaching 1,000 subbies. And I am scrap lifting her with this fun uh, layout. Mine is a little bit grungier and you'll see in the video for all sorts of reasons why. And I needed to add an extra little cluster here to cover up some of the extra grunginess that I didn't really need or want. Uh, now for May I Scrap Lift You, uh, Jessica I think is on the list of day three, uh, but I start my May I Scrap Lift You the same way every year, so you're going to see that my, and I had already prepared a list, so mine is going to be a little bit of a mix and match, but on the third I won't be scrap lifting the lovely Jessica because I'm doing it, I did it on the 30th. Um, so I'll be mixing and matching the May I Scrap Lift You list a little bit, but doing everybody, if not within the month, um, I will keep them in a file for the second Saturdays of every month. So there you go, my friends, my collection obsession for this month. I got five projects done. That makes me very happy. Um, I had added these lovely foam uh, stickers from Simple Stories, and I did use quite a few of them, uh, but I still have some of that. I have quite a bit left here of the die cuts, although I did use some of them as well. Still have quite a bit of that. I have uh, a few little enamel dots here that I had added. Uh, the sticker sheet, the sticker sheet I didn't use an awful lot of, did I? I used a little sticky here, this lovely big butterfly. Um, so I need to do a little bit of a better job there. This fun balloon I could have used and this gorgeous floral. Um, so definitely a lot left to play with here. And in terms of paper... I have quite a bit left there as well. So I have some lovely scraps. This six by eight paper is not part of the collection. I, it, I think it was just hanging around somewhere and I just popped it in there. I'm not sure whether I'll use it with that or not. These are two little bits that I added in. I had taken out this lovely big doily and I didn't use it. This um, lovely, lovely pre-cut cut file from Scrap and Reflections in black that I have here that I haven't used and I really do want to use. And then I have, let's see what we have in paper, a few little scraps there. I have some of this. Now you can see here where I cut out all my hexagons for um, Jessica's celebratory hop and little bits here. And then I still have one, two, three, four, five, 
six, even seven, six, no, six pattern papers left. So I used six and I have six left. So I basically still have one of each left. Oh, so my friends, I definitely need to do a couple of either layouts, uh, leftovers to layouts with that, or we're going to bring that in, build a page. Uh, what would you like to see? I'm going to send a message off to Kristen and see what she thinks about just keeping just on a sort of ad hoc basis here and there, you know, when anyone feels like it, doing a leftovers to layout um, project and putting that up here. What do you guys think of that, my friends? But you'll definitely see that there and probably in build a page for may as well so i will be back my friends with a report on um build a page and a report on how to kill a kit with style and my full monthly layout share as well i will see you back here very very soon Thanks so much for being here, my friends. And I'll have my um, April playlist down below for you as well in case you've missed anything. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful day, my friends. See you soon. Bye for now.